everybody, welcome to another Micro Red Dot Story. Today we actually have a build that I didn't want to build. I'll just tell you the story. Basically, I just kept on getting this suggestion over and over and over, but every time I just ignored it. I just didn't want to build this type of door. I didn't think I would like it. And actually, you guys are right. <laughs> this actually is quite a cool door. So what exactly are we building today? Well, today we're building... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Where is this coming from? No, no. I need to do the intro. <laughs> well, as you probably guessed, today we are building a 4x4 sand door. Uh, checklist for today's video. Cringy intro. Check. <laughs> Now that music is over, I just need to mention two things. First of all, you can actually make this build longer. You can extend this redstone all the way along, as you're seeing now, and actually have an extending wall, not just a four by four. To be honest, I'm not sure how useful that will be for anything, <laughs> but it's cool, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, many mistakes. And the second thing I want, and the second thing, oops. And the second thing I wanted to mention is that I actually had, and the second thing I wanted to mention is that I, bleh, and the second thing I wanted to mention is that actually sand. Mm. Ah. Check. And the second thing I wanted to mention is that I actually had to slow this build down a bit because if you go too fast, what happens with the retraction? When all these pistons retract, this sand basically hasn't got time to land. And basically, what will happen is that some of the sand will glitch into other bits of sand, or some of it will just break entirely. And basically, all you'll be left with is a one by four door. <laughs> which isn't very good, you want a 4x4. Okay, so now you've seen the build and you've seen it working, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this amazing build you Wait, need- Wait, can I try and read the list as fast as I can? Yeah, if you want to, <laughs> have a go. I have been practicing. Okay, here goes. Four regular pistons, four sticky pistons, 13 observers, five redstone repeaters, seven redstone torches, 21 redstone dust, one block, one redstone lamp, seven, seven, 16, seven, one lever, 31 blocks, four redstone gone, and however many blocks you need for decoration. What? That's not fair. Glad I could ruin your day just a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna sound really slow now the next time I do it. <sighs> I had to ruin it, didn't you? He he he. Just leave me alone. Go on. Meanie. Ah, the robot time I'm being a meanie. Check. Okay, to start this build, you firstly, like usual, have to determine where you want your build to actually be. So what I've done here is I've laid out four blocks. So I want my door to go here. Then my four by four will literally go here. Like that. Okay, so after you've marked out where you want your door to actually be, what you need to do, like usual, is grab your shovel and do some digging. So firstly, dig out one block to the left and four from the right. One, two, three, four. Then three from the top. One, two, three. And three from the bottom. One, two, three. So dig out these corners like this, all the way around. And then dig out these ones in between. Okay, like that. So now we should have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven long hole. Counting with a bow tie man. Check. And here's the bad news. You have to dig that out 10 more times. <laughs> this hole needs to be 11 deep like that. So as you can see, our hole is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven deep. Now, like usual, our hole doesn't actually need to be this big because the build actually isn't anywhere near this large, but what I've done is I've just made sure that we have a little bit of room so we can actually place in the redstone nice and easily. Okay, so now we have a very large hole, we can actually get on with some redstone. So the first thing we have to do is actually make a piston extender. So come underneath this block here and come down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. And off the side of this bottom block, we need a sticky piston facing upward and we can remove this line. Have a sticky piston to the left and then two to the right. One and two in line with these blocks up here. Now on top of our sticky pistons, we need four more. And again, four more. And then a line of regular pistons. One, two, three and four. So we should have a one, two, three block gap between our piston and these blocks. And now we can actually remove these blocks here and these ones here. 
Brilliant. Okay, so firstly, we need to work on the piston extension, which sounds maybe complicated, but honestly is really, really simple. All it is, is about extending the pistons in order. First of all, these ones, then these, then these ones, then these ones. And that's it, okay? So to do that, what we need to do is place a block here, one down and one out, remove this block, and then a line of blocks like this, one, two, three, and then one up here. And dust like this, one, two, three, four, and on this block, we can place our lever and flick it on. So we should have a first extension. Now you may be wondering, how is this piston actually getting power? Well, it's because that block is actually getting powered by this dust. Even though it looks like it's getting redirected, it's not. It's going straight all along into this block as well. Very strange. <laughs> so after that, we now need to power this line. So we need to have a torch on this side, which should turn off, a block on top, a torch on this side, and a block one out but this time we don't want normal blocks we want to use a transparent block we want to use slabs or glass and place it like this one two three and then a regular block up like that and dust one two three four so now we should have our second extension the reason we actually have a transparent block and not a full block is for later basically when the retraction is happening if you have a full block and there's dust on top which gets powered the dust powers and so does the block. So if you have two pistons, one next to the block and one next to the piston, like that, you can see they both extend. And basically the redstone gets a bit confused about which one's the power and it just makes a mess. So <laughs> you make sure that it's a transparent block. Okay, after that, we need to now power our third pistons. So place a torch on this side, which should turn off. You guessed it, a block on top and a torch on this side. A block here and one out. And this time we can use any old block, it doesn't matter one two three out one up here and dust along now we have our third extension and then for the fourth again you guessed it torch on this side a block a torch on this side which should turn on one up a block out one two three along one up and dust basically just repeating what we've been doing so far so now we should have a full extension okay so now we have our full extension now we can work on the retraction which sounds really really scary but honestly it's really easy because again it's all about order so it's very easy okay <laughs> so when i flick this lever here whoops <laughs> flick the lever like that firstly we need to power these pistons here to retract these pistons down to here so i need to power this dust again now i do that by removing this block here and replacing it with a dropper now I come down here look up crouch and place an observer coming away from that dropper into this block like this so we should have a first ex uh, first ex we should have a first retraction like this brilliant now i need to power these pistons again to retract these ones to here now i do that by counting this torch as one two three then place an observer facing downward off the side of that torch like that then grab a repeater and place it coming away from this block on four tick delay. So place it down and press it three times. Then grab another observer, place it toward the front and a block here. Now we should have our second retraction. Fantastic. Now we need to retract this line and at the same time, this line. Now we retract this line by placing a block here and one here, and then two transparent blocks, I'm gonna be using slabs here and here and dust on both. Then coming away from this uh, block here, we need a torch, which should turn off, a block on top. Coming away from that block, we need a repeater on four tick delay. Then grab another observer and place it off the side of that block. Another repeater going away from this one on one tick. And finally, another observer here. There we are. So now we have these ones retracting. Now we need to retract these ones. So come to this observer and come down one, two, three observers, one to the front, a block here, and dust. And it's that simple. <laughs> then retract. Brilliant. Now we need to retract these pistons. So again, like over here, we need to place a block here and one here, two slabs, whoops, like that, and dust. And literally take the observer pulse from this one, like that, our redstone lamp here, 
And finally, another observer facing upward. That's the penultimate retraction. And then finally, we need to retract these pistons again. So what we do is come over to this block here, place a temporary one here, and the observer downward. Remove this one. Have a repeater on four tick delay coming away from this block, like so. Going into a block. A temporary block here, and another observer facing downward. Remove this block, and then have finally have another repeater coming away from this block here on four tick delay. And surprisingly, that's everything completely done. So we should have our full extension, which we do, and then put the leave again, and we have our full retraction. Brilliant. So if you want to test it, just put in some sand. That's one, two, three, whoops, four high, like that. <laughs> Not that one like that. <laughs> now we can give it a proper test. So we should have our door closing or extending, and then flick the lever, and everything should retract. Brilliant. So like I said, it's surprisingly easy. Again, it's just all about order. Of course, if you want to move the lever, that's really easy. Just come down here, remove that lever there, and literally just place a repeater going toward that block there. Don't use dust. It has to be a repeater. And then you can run dust wherever you like. It's completely up to you. So anyway, <laughs> anywhere you like. There we are. It's very, very simple. And of course, now we can cover up our redstone with grass if you like. But if you want to use sand, that's completely fine. You can actually place sand on top of redstone dust, surprisingly. You can actually do that, which is very strange. You can do it here and here. And just one thing, if you want to place sand on top and you want to place one here, do not use a normal block. Do not do this. You need to use a transparent block. For example, glass. Okay, then the sand on top of the glass. Okay, so that's the 4x4 sand door tutorial all done. But what happens if you want to make that wall we did earlier? Now, the maximum amount of piston extenders we can have is 14 on this build without using repeaters. Of course, you can go longer, but I'm just going to show you 14, okay? Because that's how far the rest of the dust can go. <laughs> so we've got one, two, three, four at the moment. So now we need to go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Then another line. So basically just repeat what we have here. And then our pistons. And literally, all we have to do is extend what we have here all along. So extend this line until here, then the block up. We can move this one and then dust. The same with here. Extend the line of slabs, have a block up. We can move this one and dust all along. You can see it's really, really simple. Again, extend this line lock up and dust all along and the same here remove these like that whoops blocks all along we had to have a dropper here an observer like that and again dust all along <laughs> it's really easy and on this side you guessed it put that block to there that block to there labs all along and slabs all along, and dust all along. <laughs> it literally is a case of just extending the redstone. And then we can place our sand. And that's it. So when I flick the lever, we should have the full extension. Beautiful. And then flick the lever again, and we have the full retraction. Fantastic. I did the intro. Oh, it's been a long day. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, like this video or like this design. Please.
please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> oh, dear.